Hello everyone and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day, fresh from a big marathon run in Disney World. <laughs> I have to mention that. Half marathon. Only half, marathon. half of it. Only half crazy as they say. But yes, me and my uh, lovely mother went down to Florida when it happened to be just as warm in eastern Kentucky. That figures. But yeah. that can happen sometimes. <laughs> well, can. Anyway, congratulations <laughs> to you and your mom. Thank you. Now, what we're going to talk about today are five listings that if you're in the market to buy a home, that's going to be great. Hopefully, you may want to purchase one of these, but it may spark some interest whether you want to sell your home or, and I want to plant this seed, if you're thinking about maybe being a realtor there looking for someone, she'll talk about that at the very end in the Real Estate Minute. We will. So, let's start with to go right into a listing. Now, this one's out of the Paintsville office. Mm -hmm. This one is actually located in the Van Leer area of Johnson County, mm -hmm. um, right off 1107 in the Powell Edition um, area. And this is one that I kind of figure people will really be interested in because this is not something you see a lot. No, but this is something a lot of people are looking mm -hmm. for. Now, what we've got here is six acres of property. There's no home on this, but you've got a really nice barn and pasture and riding ring. So I personally know a lot of people who have horses and they have to rent a place to put their horse or they have to drive far away because a lot of times where you live is just not going to fit for a horse, but there's a lot of horse owners out there looking for something exactly like this. Exactly. And this is, like you said, it's got a 14 stall stable, city water, septic, fence paddocks, over six acres total. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a riding ring, lots of flat acreage. It's really one that has all those amenities if you are a horse lover and want that kind of property. And with, with the development of so many riding trails around here, it has become really popular for people um, to own and ride horses. Absolutely. It really would be. And this is one that they can easily drive by because, like I said, it is located directly mm -hmm. off of Highway 1107 going through Van Leer. So if it's something that you have an interest in, I highly recommend doing a drive-by on this one and then giving our Paintsville office a call for more information. This could be an income potential mm -hmm. for you because a lot of people pay good money to rent a stall or have their horses boarded. So if you're looking at getting into this kind of business, you've got 14 stalls, a riding ring. I mean, this could be an income producer. Exactly, and this could be one, if you've got one or two horses yourself, you can have a place to put your horses. And then mm -hmm. like you said, you still have 10 to 12 stalls that you can rent out for other people, have some income coming in for taking care of the other horses mm -hmm. that are there and boarding. You can do riding lessons with because you've got the riding rink. You can have pasture land. So I'm hoping a lot of wheels are turning on this one. Let's hope and so. And the price <laughs> on this one, including the barn and the acreage, only 110000 mm -hmm. So the price is reasonable as well. Um, and this one's out of the Paintsville office, correct? It is. And anybody can call any of the agents out of our Paintsville office or really any of our office if you would like. But that number in Paintsville is 606-789-8119. All right. Now this is the six acres of property and a barn in the Powell edition of Van Leer. Great. Now moving along, we're going to stay in Johnson County, but let's mm -hmm. actually move this one into downtown Paintsville. Okay. This one is located off of Court Street in downtown Paintsville. And for anybody that's familiar with where Paintsville, how it lays out, mm -hmm. that is right downtown, very close to Paintsville Elementary School, right between uh, Our Lady of the Mountain School or the Mayo Mansion and the Methodist Church. And then you've got Big Sandy Community and Technical mm -hmm. College campus right there. That's one side of it. Then let's look at eating and shopping mm -hmm. because Paintsville is, is becoming known for a lot of its eclectic shops and diners and coffee shops and things like that. All of that is within walking distance. And then of course, let's not forget October and Apple Days. Great opportunity for this house. Now that's just on the outside. Exactly. It doesn't even count on the inside. On the inside, it's got over 1,700 square feet. It's a three bedroom, two bath, built in the 50s. Um, you're looking at the pictures. You can see that it's a house. It's got paneling. Um, somebody may want to come in and do some updates and stuff, but when mm -hmm. we tell you the price, I think they're going to be really excited to know that they can come in and do those updates. But it is a really nice laid out house. It's got a first floor bedroom, which is huge right now with potential buyers. Mm -hmm. 
it's just a really good house, really good bones, and something that somebody could come in and really make their own. And with this one, I'm thinking, and a lot of people go the way with the banks and get pre-approved. Mm -hmm. So you know what you already can purchase. So it's really nice to be able to go, I'm approved for X amount, but this property is $50,000 less. And the seller on this one is motivated, so they're willing to assist with closing costs, um, something like that. So if somebody is looking to make an offer, mm -hmm. but that may be something that concerns them, this is one that you can throw in an offer and ask for a little bit of assistance on closing costs as well. Wow. And, and on this one, $100,000 is the price. And like mm -hmm. we said, downtown Paintsville, great neighborhood. And this one comes with a one-car garage too so it's not off street parking and, and on, or on the street parking or anything like that you actually have a garage you do you have a one-car garage which like you said in downtown Paintsville is a big deal because that means you've got some off street parking mm -hmm. storage that kind of stuff as well so yeah hundred thousand dollars on this one the MLS number one zero four Two eight zero. Now this is another one out of the Paintsville office. It is. It's also out of Paintsville. And if you wanted to, if you don't want to call, but you just want to look for information, mm -hmm. feel free to go to our website. That's rbnw.com. All right. Okay. Now the next one is is also Paintsville, also mm -hmm. downtown, just down the street from the previous listing. Yeah, this one is on West Street. And again, if you're familiar with Paintsville, that's very mm -hmm. close to where the Ramada. Mm -hmm. and is. That's kind of the closest thing to it. You're right there very close to Main Street, like you said, very close to all the shopping, schools, coffee shops, all of that's within walking distance again. And this is one that it's a little over a thousand square feet. It's a two bedroom, one bath. Mm -hmm. um, again, built in 1950, has a one car carport. And this is one that has so much charm. I think we talked about it before a couple weeks ago, and the one thing that everybody kept mentioning was the sunroom. Because yes. in the picture you can see it's the wood walls, all windows around it. It's a really, really nice room that would make a great living room or extra family room or something like that. Or just the place to, to have your coffee in the mm -hmm. mornings. Open those blinds up, look outside. So I would normally say this time of year, maybe one more snowfall, but I don't think that's going to happen this year. So. Let's talk about spring flowers because they're going to be <laughs> blooming soon. They will if they're not already. <laughs> uh, but you can see in the yard, it's got some, uh, you know, the landscaping mm -hmm. is well established and that kind of stuff. So hopefully it's not one you'd have to come in and completely redo the yard and that kind of thing. So schools, shopping, um, dining, all kinds of, of opportunities. And, you know, you even with the SIP Theater renovation, will have live music from time to time. So. Paintsville's really growing as far as those kind of things, and this would be a great house if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. Yes, absolutely, and it's just convenient, and it's it's going to be a great house for somebody. The price on this one, Jennifer, is one nineteen five. Okay, and great price for this one mm -hmm. as well, and the MLS number one zero seven. 197. So give the Paintsville office a call. Absolutely. 606 789 8119. All right. Now, the next one is I think all of these today are out of the Paintsville office, mm -hmm. but this one is Cliff Bennett's listing. So you're going to give his information at the end of this one, but this one's also in Paintsville. No, this one's in Sawyersville. This one's in Sawyersville. We're going to throw everybody off a little bit and move to McGoffin County for a minute, um, but it is in downtown Sawyersville, right off Broadway. If you're familiar with Sawyersville, you know where Route 40 and the post office mm -hmm. is. Uh, you're going to be on Bailey Street. It's right on the corner of Bailey and Broadway is where this house sits. And almost 2,000 square feet. So this is a large home. And I like the picture of the kitchen. It shows a big spacious kitchen. Um, and actually everything in here looks spacious. And you can see the fireplace in one of the pictures. And then look at that tub in the bathroom. So I love the photos on this one. Absolutely. And you can tell from the photos, you're talking tile and hardwood flooring. So you've got those amenities. It's custom kitchen cabinets. Um, it's all city utilities, which is great. Concrete driveway. Um, you actually have on this one, and I didn't have a picture to include it, but it has a sewing building out in the backyard. Really? That they've used for sewing, obviously for a sewing business, but could very easily be made into a guest house or a little efficiency apartment mm -hmm. or if you really wanted to put you know your big screen TV and a pool table out there it could be a really nice man cave or something like that. A lot of potential and think about it if they use it for sewing whatever your hobby may be mm -hmm. as well 
and you just want to take it out and, and have your own space to do that, this offers so many different options. Exactly. And then you, of course, have the attached garage as well mm -hmm. that, that is not included in that for storage and cars and all that kind of stuff. And then the location in Sayersville with the expansion of the Mountain Parkway mm -hmm. and the ease that it is now to get to Central Kentucky, I, I predict this, this location to get more and more popular as the convenience comes around. Absolutely. I really think that it's going to. And again, a great location, very close to the Mountain Parkway mm -hmm. and to the downtown Sayersville area, an area that is growing and will continue to grow. Right. And the price on this one, $295,000 uh, on this one in Sayersville. Now, we mm -hmm. mentioned this was Cliff Bennett's listing, so let's give his information. Okay. Cliff is out of the Painesville office, and his email is Bennett at rbnw.com. That's B-E-N-N-E-T-T. -T. Correct. All right. <laughs> now, let's move back to another one of Cliff's listings, but this one is closer to Paintsville, mm -hmm. but just off of US 23. This one is off Dogwood Fork, which if you're traveling from Paintsville towards Louisa, mm -hmm. um, you're going to go about five miles and then Dogwood is going to be on your left. You're going to go up Dogwood, you're going to take a left at the fork, and this is going to be the last house out there. So right there, the word says privacy. There you go. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be, it's a newer house, but it is really located in the country. So if you're looking for some privacy, if you're looking for room to grow, a little bit of acreage, perfect location. Well, I mean, you're looking at over 37 acres, mm -hmm. and that's a lot. And it looks like some of it is going to be flat and usable. So there you're thinking gardens as spring comes along. Think of all the things that, that spring fever gives you. You exactly. want to plant things, and you've even got room for a pool mm -hmm. if this summer you decide you want to add one. Yeah. I think they estimated around five or six acres was flat and usable acreage, wow. which is great. And you can see in one of the pictures that I included of the exterior, you've got that flat kind of pasture looking land mm -hmm. with the detached building down there, great for storage. If you wanted to use it as a small barn or something like that, it also has those abilities. And it's still, even though it's north of Paintsville, it still has a Paintsville address, so that mm -hmm. lets you know it's still close to Paintsville. So convenience is, is huge right there, right off US 23. Mm -hmm. um, if you have to travel to toward Huntington, West Virginia or Louisa, you're convenient, but then look also back the other way, Prestonsburg and Paintsville are right there too. Exactly. And then on the inside of the house, it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Like I said, it's a newer house built in 2007. Um, hardwood flooring through a lot of the house. It is a story and a half. Mm -hmm. So it's a great functional home with a lot of room. Right. And this one would be great for a family because mm -hmm. you're looking at almost 2,000 square feet. So, and with all the acreage and stuff, you've got room to let the kids play outside, animals. Um, you know, we talked about horses in the, in the first listing, but you've got room to put a small barn and a riding ring here. Exactly. So you've got a tons of potential if, if you're the outdoorsy type mm -hmm. or you just, you know, you work in downtown or whatever and you just want to get away in the evenings and the weekends. Th this has got you covered. Exactly. All right. Now this one is is one that everything we just told you about, we're still under two hundred thousand. We're one hundred and eighty-five thousand, so the price is very attractive on this one. Mm -hmm. Now this one is also the Paintsville office and Cliff Bennett's listing. So let's give the Paintsville office number one more time. Okay, that number is 606-789-8119. All right, and you mentioned the website earlier in the show, but let's mm -hmm. give that again because you guys cover such a large area. We only have the time in this show to show you five listings, but you all have hundreds of listings, I'm sure, maybe more, um, of different kinds of things from commercial to land to leases, everything. Somebody can just go to one website and see every bit of that. Yes, they can go to rbnw.com. All right. So we have given you five listings from mostly Johnson County, and then there's, of course, one in McGoffin County. But like we said, no matter where you're looking, even if you're looking to list, Red Brown and Williams can take care of you. So I'm going to step out now and let you talk about something that you guys are actually looking for. We are. Are you interested in a real estate career? Now is the time to get started. Opportunities are available for new realtors in Eastern Kentucky. Call any of our Red Brown and Williams offices for more information. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Red Brown and Williams Show. See you again soon.